uh, here we have been given a function which is a x nor b whole x nor c and we are supposed to find out which of the options is the equivalent representation of the given function okay so let me draw the circuit for this now now whenever you have a x nor b within a bracket indicates what indicates that this is a two input x nor gate okay so i'm taking that right now uh, we are taking right now one two input x nor gate and let me call this as a this is b now and uh, furthermore the output of this is given as input to one more element which is nothing but c now one more variable which is c and finally we have one more x nor gate okay so let me call this as c and what is this output now the output of this is a x nor b and uh, this input is nothing but c so this x nor gate has two inputs one input is a x nor b and one more input is nothing but c so obviously we are having a x nor operation wherein one input is nothing but a x nor b and one more input is nothing but c so this is the overall output function we have now we know that i can take this bubble also to the input side because one bubble either at the input side or output side doesn't matter functionally that is exactly the same so because of that what i'll do is nothing but i'll change the position of this bubble and i'll place it here okay now functionally whether you place a bubble here or here both are exactly the same which is nothing but x nor implementation and now you are having two bubbles here whenever you have two bubbles you can cancel out both the bubbles because a bubble is nothing but a complementation operation so because of that i'm removing both the bubbles because double complementation is equal to the function itself okay so because of that what we have now we have uh, this is nothing but uh, a x or b and uh, what about here now this is a x or b x or c and we have seen in the previous problem that this can be written as what now this is nothing but a x or b x or c okay which is nothing but now this is implemented by the use of a three input xor gate three input xor gate this is a b c and finally what we have as the output now the output is nothing but a xor b xor c so if you notice one thing here whatever is a xor b xor c is that equivalent to a three input xor gate now definitely no this is not equal to a three input xor gate whatever is the first option we have is nothing but a three input xor gate so definitely this is not the correct option okay and what about b now b is nothing but a three input xor gate with a complement a bar we have indicates what this is a complement so functionally whenever you want to look at this you can write this as nothing but i'm taking one xor gate right now and we are taking a complement and what are the inputs now this is a three input xor gate with inputs of a b c so in terms of circuit the function of this that is nothing but a x or b x or c whole complement can be implemented in this particular format but rather are we having this function or this function now this is the function according to the given question so because of that obviously i can say that even b is not the correct option and what about c now c is nothing but a x or b x or c which is nothing but uh, a three input x or operation so definitely c is the correct answer and what about this now this is nothing but a three input xor gate itself so because of that even d can be a correct answer okay please note one thing that whenever you see x nor symbol x nor symbol corresponds to what one bubble okay now whenever you have two bubbles here now can i cancel both the bubbles yes and whenever you cancel the bubble in case of x nor you are left with simply xor so whenever you cancel both the bubbles in that case what happens is you will have a function which is nothing but simply you are having a xor b xor c and that is nothing but what you are having in these two cases okay now let us say you are having one more function now that function i will write it as now this is a x nor b x nor c and x or d let us say this is what you have and uh, uh, let me put the brackets in this particular format okay so this corresponds to a two input x nor gate and this corresponds to a two input xor gate finally you are performing a xor operation for the outputs of these two gates okay now functionally whenever you try to implement this how can you implement this now the first one is nothing but uh, we are taking one xor gate the second one is xor gate and the output of both these uh, xor as well as xor gates now that is connected to one more xor gate okay one more xor gate with a bubble at the output side and what are the inputs to this particular xor gate now the inputs are nothing but one input is a 
and one input is nothing but b we are having a x nor b here what we have is a x nor b in the second case we are having a c x or d so this is input c this is input d and whatever we have here is nothing but c x or d and finally uh, with this that is a x nor b as well as c x nor d you are performing one more x nor operation that's what we have here okay now the thing is you can either draw the circuit and uh, then evaluate the answer or simply you can observe this particular equation itself and then also you can observe the answer now whenever i have two x nors okay i'm having two x nors indicates what we have two bubbles are you not having two bubbles here yes now simply i can bring this bubble here and i can cancel out both these bubbles so wherever you have the bubble doesn't matter you can definitely cancel out that particular bubble okay so because of that now whenever you have two bubbles every two bubbles can be cancelled out and you can write it something like this now this is nothing but what a x or b x or c x or d indicates what i can simply write it as now this is also written as now this is a x or b x or c x or d so what we have here is nothing but original function was a x nor b x nor c x or d now we had two x nors indicates two bubbles two bubbles means two complements we can cancel out two complements if at all the same function has four complements let us say you are having more than four variables and you are having overall four complements now every two complements can be cancelled out so because of that if at all you are having four complements those four complements can be removed and simply written as xor okay now what are the other ways of writing the same thing now now since we have two bubbles two bubbles you can place a bubble any location okay let us say instead of placing the bubble here i want to place the bubble uh, you know somewhere at this location now can you place it yes in that case what happens a becomes a bar instead of applying a you have applied now a bar or i'll take this uh, can say complement out so originally we were having a bubble here i'll place this bubble somewhere here now okay i'll place this bubble somewhere here now a bubble here as well as a bubble here both are exactly the same so i'll remove this bubble and i'll place it here and further i can remove this bubble here and i can place it here right so this is what i'm doing now simply manipulation of the bubbles you can uh, change the location of bubble any way you like okay now in this case what will happen ultimately whatever was x nor operation earlier for a x nor b now that is converted into c x nor d and what about for ab now ab operation is nothing but only xor operation so that is again equivalent to this function also so every time you are given such kind of equation you don't have to either draw the circuit if at all you draw the circuit in that case visualizing that particular answer becomes much easier but the thing is you don't have to go for the truth table because if at all you solve this question by the use of truth table in that case it becomes very tedious for you because you can have n number of options not just one option you have n number of options here itself just now we have uh, seen at least three options one option is nothing but a x or b x or c x or d that is also the answer and this is one of the answer now this is one more answer so you have many answers for the same question now if at all you try to verify all the answers by the use of truth table in that case the time taken will be very huge so because of that either go for the diagrammatic approach or simply cancel out any two bubbles whenever you have two bubbles indicates that is equal into now the removal of bubbles is nothing but simply xor operations now 